An annual field day is coming up for people to learn about sustainability. Stephanie and Pete are here with details on this family-friendly event. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. I know that family-friendly is a key here, Pete. Why was this event created? It was created to just show the, um, the, the, the efforts on the, the farmers mm -hmm. within the watershed to preserve Green Lake, um, save the soil, save the water, um, just kind of a combination. Um, and open to anyone, farmers, community members alike. But I'd imagine, Stephanie, that your hope is people who don't deal with ag on a daily basis come out to see the event. Yeah, absolutely. We think it's really important to tell the story of local agriculture. So as part of the Green Lake Association and the Farm Bureau, we know that it's all connected. We all eat food. Mm -hmm. And so I think having the community know what farmers are doing to protect the lake is really essential. So it is absolutely open to everyone. So what can they experience if they join us for the field day? Um, they can experience this year, we're going to have um, cover crops. Um, we had some interseeding planted around the first week of July. Um, it's a newer practice. Yeah. They plant it in between corn rows. The corn rows are probably oh, knee high, I'm, okay. I'm guessing. Um, we're going to have um, another discussion on CRP and showing people how you know, in, in, in fields where you got marginal farmland, okay. where you can actually implement buffer strips and so on for pheasants or deer or whatever you might want to have. Um, and a petting zoo. And a petting zoo, yes. Um, <laughs> we will also have uh, um, corn. This farm has corn and seed plots every okay. year, corn and soybean plots. And we're going to have a guy from the local co-op talk about, you know, what's going on here. People have been driving by this for years and mm -hmm. probably always wondered, the non-farmer yeah. people especially. Yeah. And it's, he's going to go over some of the genetics and traits and stuff and just teach people about that. Uh, we're also going to have a, a blow-up uh, soil tunnel where people can walk through it and you can see like the soil profile, like, like as if you're walking in the ground. Oh, wow. Um, and then we'll have a free lunch at noon. And then after lunch around 1 o'clock, we're going to um, go down to White Creek and there's been some restoration done down there over the last year or so. And we're going to have some uh, NRCS and land conservation people down there talking about what was done yeah. and to show people the progress we're making in the watershed. Um, the GLA is really a, a good promoter of that. They've been really pushing to get more of these creeks and watershed, yeah. water, waterways um, restored. Stephanie, talk to us about the Green Lake Association, who you are and sure. what your role is in an event like this. Yeah, absolutely. The Green Lake Association is a nonprofit environmental organization. We're all about water quality. Green Lake is the deepest natural inland lake in Wisconsin. Its water quality is showing some warning signs. So we're trying to kind of get ahead of that. And we live in a primarily agricultural watershed. So we are really fortunate, I think, to have a really strong partnership with the Farm Bureau. Um, showcasing what farmers are doing or can do on behalf of water quality. And that's an important partnership. Pete, you're a dairy farmer. Why uh, yes. is it important to have farmers' voices at the table to be a part of the solution? Well, we all want to do, do things better and do it right. That's really what we're trying to do. And like no, between no-till and, and uh, cover crops, mm -hmm. um, keep the, the ground planted to something year-round is really a message we're trying to, to push um, to get farmers to, to think about more. Um, there's one of my neighbors is doing it uh, quite a bit, and it's, it's, it's experimental, don't get me wrong. Sure. But, I mean, he's making some good progress doing it and showing others that this can be done. Um, a great chance well. to learn from your fellow farmer at field days like this, or if you're someone who doesn't make it out to the farm very often, get an update on conservation and sustainability in our community. This is happening Saturday, August 20th. The Albright Family Farm has a Rippin address. They are asking that you RSVP ahead of time so that you can get in on the headcount for that free lunch. We appreciate the work that you guys are doing. Congratulations on, this is a sixth year event? That's right. That's a big deal. Thanks for being here. Thank yes, you. Thank you.